We're here, bud. Wanna drink some wine? Did I wipe everything down with yesterday's sports bra? Yes, I did. There you go. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. It's pretty hard to beat. Mm -hmm. Gunther and I had a lovely time camping at Bonita Canyon, but this trip is a twofer and we're off to our next spot, a nearby hip camp. Well, I'm a dumbass because I neglected to uh, save the directions from the campground to the hip camp on my phone. And there is like no signal here. Even when I had three or four bars in LTE, I had nothing, nothing on Google Maps, nothing on hip camp. So I am all the way back in Wilcox and I guess I'll just walk around until you get a signal, but um, worst case scenario, the winery's tasting room is literally behind me. So they'll know how to get to the vineyard, if anything. So I guess it's an opportunity to check out downtown Wilcox. So yeah, I guess I probably forgot to mention that this hip camp, camp is at a vineyard and that's their tasting room right there across the street. Gunther, how did you manage to get tangled up already? I managed to mooch off the barbecue restaurant's Wi-Fi uh, long enough to um, get the directions and save them my phone. So uh, unfortunately it means a little backtrack. It'll be like 20 minutes to go back that way. There it is. Oh, we're here, bud. Wanna drink some wine? Well, we made it at last. Um, I was hoping to go ahead and just have the tasting and buy a bottle of wine and then come set up camp. Um, but they are working on something in the tasting room right now, so they won't be ready for tastings until um, later this afternoon. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, set up camp. I have one beer, one big beer. So I'll just have that and maybe a snack and maybe a nap and um, and they'll be ready for us. Got a little grill and a fire pit and a table set up. And, uh, yeah, the instructions of where the sites are is a little unclear. It seems very freeform. It's just kind of pick a spot as long as you're not too close to the vineyard. So I'm picking a spot that's right next to the table and the grill. Let's see how our en route recharging went. Uh, I drove around for about an hour. Um, I was uh, stopping and starting a lot and I didn't always hit the button again, but now we're at 73, so that's pretty good. I think we were at about 45, 50, so not too bad. He just wanted to be inside, so I hooked up his little fan in there. Pretty comfortable. And I'm gonna set up the uh, sports cove too. Gives us some more shade. It's pretty uh, open out here, and it's supposed to be 91 today. So this is our current situation in here. I had to sort of mock up some curtains for this side. The sun was beating in a bit. Got sports cove up. Got the big fan blowing. And there is a pretty fair breeze coming from this way. It's nice and cool. So if I leave this door open, it comes right in. And then we got the screens on the front windows. The fan blowing out that way, so it's going to continue pulling this air through. So it's um, it's pretty comfortable. Even though it's warm out. This is my revised curtain for this side that's getting some sun. It's much more attractive and effective. Well, I open the cool air to grab a seltzer, and it turns out the soy milk is all over the place. Totally leaked out. Did I pour the reclaimed soy milk back into the container from the cooler? 
Yes, I did. Did I wipe everything down with yesterday's sports bra? Yes, I did. No shame here. Earned it. Share medicine. I think this hip cam's more oriented for RVs, so there is no restroom, no running water. It is BYO, so I'm basically kind of boondocking it again. The old blue, and if, as always, it's breezy. So I found some random heavy objects lying around, and uh, hopefully, I don't break a toe on these tonight. So those are bungee down, as I used on my bungees, a piece of pure cord. So I've always wondered if I could fit my chair in here and, and sit in it. And the answer is kind of. If you get it in just the right spot and slouch, then uh, yeah, good to know. He knows what's good. Took my spot, which is why I'm over here. Um, since we're at a vineyard, I have tapas on deck. I'd love to have it with some wine, but you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometime. We're gonna have it with some beer. Uh, we have a visitor. Oh no. Dude. It's like, I just want a snack. Here you go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, come on. No, no, no. He flew back in. <laughs> I threw it. Ah, come on, bro. You're sh killing me. Come on, out. Out. Stay out. Wasp though, like, why are you obsessed with me? I guess I only needed two plates anyway. Uh, oh, fig jam, that's what I was getting. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Just a little dollop. Same as yesterday. Guess we'll hang out for another hour. At this point, I think uh, Kim's gonna roll up between four and five, so I'll just wait for her, I guess. Uh, yeah, I got whiskey. <laughs> I don't have any cold water though. Cooler's good. Oh, I do have cold water. Problem solved. This has been my ice, my cooler ice since uh, Sunday. Uh, in addition to two large gel packs, the um, gel packs are pretty much done, but this guy is still going. And by tonight I'll have all the food eaten, so it doesn't really have to last much longer. So whiskey and water it is. Cheers. Look who it is. Hey! I'm not really sure what the spots are. It's just kind of wherever. I know, right? Yeah, I saw the chickens. Oh, you threw chickens in there? Mm hmm I saw one. Oh, oh okay. Walking around. Oh my god, I had a wasp in the truck. Oh, oh you did? There. Yes! <laughs> Man, I think he got in there twice and finally I was, because I had a little dish I was able to catch him in. I finally got a little dish and I threw it out the door. <laughs> Hilarious. Fortunately, your dog's chill. Yeah. It's not like not like running around. You have to go chase it. Or mm -hmm. when I rolled down the window, I was like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> he turned around. He looked at me like, what the fuck? Are you doing? <laughs> oh, really? There were turkeys. Oh. When we were hiking. Oh, oh, yep. There were three big turkeys. Oh. They, were, they were big blue Mexican jays. So we have a lot of Mexican jays out here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There were a ton at the mm -hmm. campground, and they were very busy. Yes. And I'm glad I decided to include the Riesling because though I wouldn't have normally chose it, I really like it. <laughs> I think Riesling's good on the um, 
hot day, mm -hmm. like hot, dry day. There's no lie on the big floral. Big fan of that. Oh, you look like Dougie. Oh, I miss you. I'm not worried about the cat. He's got his claws. So. Yeah. yeah, he shows way more interest in cats than dogs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Taking care of all the field mice. Oh, he's loving the scritches. Yeah. It's pretty hard to beat. new problem. Uh, maybe I should move over to the leeward side because it is flattening the outhouse. Also the wind was a bit too much for the pop-up so we took it down before it got shredded. All right so the wind is really whipping. I don't have the fan on. That's the wind doing that. And I moved the turlet over to the leeward side. Partially that's next to the hangout area. It's still blowing yeah. at like 20 knots, but you know. But at least it's not scorching hot where it like scorches your skin. Yeah, you feel like you're like in a um, air fryer. I'm sorry to say that the evening footage is going to be pretty flimsy. Just before dusk, I received a phone call from Gunther's guardian. She informed me that I would need to go through an application and vetting process through a rescue in order to keep him, and that when we got home, he would have to be returned. I kind of expected this, but it still hit me hard. That night, I just wanted to stare at the fire for a while and not think too much. Out here chasing sunsets. Doing all right, bud. Yeah, just chilling out. Okay. The toilet out front.
not note how much egg has fallen out of this. That's a lot of egg. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens. Up again. I don't know if I would do this one again. Should. What, the potatoes? Yeah. I feel like it would be better with the fry pan. witnessed a fantastic moonrise by the fire pit, but now it is bedtime. We're going to hit the sack. You cozy? I'm not even, I'm not going to do it proper and put them upside down, but <laughs> it's going to eat it right side up. You ready to hit the road? <laughs> Dog is my co-pilot. Flan is delicious for breakfast, but it doesn't last a whole long time. So I am here at the pilot truck stop with a delicious coffee. And the breakfast I intended to eat yesterday, uh, some overnight oats. Bonus, the top there, mulberries from our tree. I'm gonna sit here in the parking lot and have a little breakfast. It was tough when we got back, but it turned out well in the end. After a few days of phone calls, paperwork, and jumping through hoops, Gunther is part of our family now, permanently, and all the parties involved are thrilled about it. <laughs>